This video is going to talk about the direction of um, calculating the direction for Ampere's law for magnetic fields and currents, a little bit about the magnitude, but really it's about the direction. So when charges flow, they create a magnetic field. That's Ampere's law. So let's talk about the magnitude and direction for Ampere's law. We need to have some way to figure out the B field loops, that's the direction component of Ampere's law. And we know that those loops are created when we generate a current. And the magnitude of the B field in those loops is equal to mu naught i divided by 2 pi r. Remember, magnetic fields make our loops. So mu naught is equal to a constant, 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7 tesla meters per amp. i is the current measuring the amps. And then 2 pi r, the r is going to be the distance between our wire and some point in space where there's a magnetic field. So to do this, I'm going to use what I'm calling the closed right hand rule. So in the closed right hand rule, your thumb it's going to represent the current and your fingers are going to be the field that is the what we're calling the B field or the magnetic field so your thumb is the direction of the current so let's talk about current for a second on a battery the positive side of the battery is the high potential the negative side is the low potential and we know that you get energy in a circuit because charge carriers deliver energy to the battery and those charge carriers go from high potential to low potential according to our laws of physics so the charge that does that is the positive charge, not the negative charge. So positive charges are repelled from the high side of the battery and go down to the negative side of the battery. So it's high charges that we're defining as current. So for us, current is going to be the flow of those charge carriers that deliver the energy in our circuit. If you're thinking about current as being the flow of electrons in the circuit itself, then it's going to be backwards. You're going to think of this in terms of a left-hand rule, or maybe this video is not for you. So for the closed right-hand rule, we're defining current as the flow of positive charge. So here are my positive charges going from right to left, and my thumb is the current. So I think about this as pointing my thumb in the direction of the current and grabbing this flow of charges with my, my right hand. And my fingers are showing me the direction the loop turns. So there's my magnetic field, the B field. Let's look at an example. A current's coming out of the screen towards you. What's the direction of the B field above this flow? So the issue here is how do I describe three-dimensional space on a two-dimensional screen? To do that, I need a little kind of notation. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a dot on the screen. And the dot means I've got some kind of field or current or force coming out of my screen into my third dimension, kind of the Z direction. So I can think of the dot as the tip of an arrow, and this is the first thing I see when it breaks the screen is the tip. And something to go in the screen, I'm going to use an X. So I think of the X as the quills or the tail feathers of the arrow as it goes into the screen. So this is the last thing I see as it goes through the screen to the other side. That's going to be the tail feathers. So a dot means something's coming out. The X means something's coming in. All right, so let's look at our question. A current's coming out of the screen towards you. What's the direction of the B field above this flow? So here's my dot coming out of the screen. Now, according to Ampere's law for the closed right-hand rule, I'm going to use my right hand. I'm going to close it and stick my thumb out like I'm hitching a ride. So here it is, my thumb. It's pointing right towards me because it's a dot coming out of the screen. And on the screen itself, my fist is sitting there on the screen and making a circle. So that's the direction my fingers are rotating. That's the B field. And the question is, what's going on above the flow? So in this little box, that's above the flow. And above the flow, the B field is tangent to the circle, pointing from right to left. So that's the direction of the magnetic field above the flow. That's the answer. But when looking at questions, you can also talk about other parts of this, as well as this point above the flow. For example, I can talk about below the flow. Tangent to the circle, it's going from left to right. That's my B field. I can talk about to the right of the flow. Tangent to the circle, it's going up. And to the left of the flow. Tangent to the circle there at the left, it's going down. So now I've got some understanding of this idea behind the closed right-hand rule. Let's look at two more examples. Let's say I have a wire. And my wire is right in front of me, and I've got the plus side on the, of the battery on the left, the negative side of the battery on the right. The question is, what's the direction of the B field above the wire? So pause the video now and see if you can figure out what the direction of the B field is above the wire using your closed right-hand rule. Okay, so hopefully you've had time to think about this. So current flows from positive to negative because that's how the energy is going to flow. So from positive to negative. That means I take my right hand and I put my thumb in the direction of the current and grab the imaginary wire in front of me. So there I am, grabbing the wire. My fingers are showing the direction of the magnetic field as it goes around the wire. And I can see that above this field, they're coming right at me. So tangent of the circle means out of the screen. So I'm going to represent that with dots. 
So the magnetic field above this B field, above the wire, is coming at me out of the screen. Okay, let's try one more example. Here's a magnetic field rotating in a counterclockwise direction. So that's my B field. The question is, what are the directions of electrons that create this magnetic field? So what I'm going to do is take my closed right hand, put it on top of the screen, and my finger is going to point in the rotation of the magnetic field. So there it is on top of the screen. And there are my fingers in the rotation of the magnetic field. My thumb is pointing out of the screen, so that's a dot. So the current's coming out of the screen, except the question said about electrons. And I know that electrons travel in the opposite direction of the current. So instead of coming out of the screen as being the right answer, I can think about electrons going into the screen. So here, the correct direction, the correct answer is electrons are going into the screen to create that magnetic field.